Wayne here. Uh, just going to uh, show you how to stitch a couple of different photos together. Sometimes you might see a scene that um, requires uh, taking more than one shot and then stitching it together. So uh, I've got three shots here. One of the Harbour Bridge and some wedding guests under a tree. So I've taken three different shots. I'll do a small adjustment on those and then I'll show you stitching them together. It's quite simple. I'll take back a bit of the highlight. Very difficult shot because of the um, the bright sky and also the shadow under the trees, but uh, a bit of fill light should help a little bit. We'll see how we go. Okay. Gather all three open images. Photoshop. The idea is to stack each of the photos on top of each other. And when you're taking the shot, always try to overlap one third of the next image as you move your camera around and that'll help to stitch better. So I generally move one away, go to layers, drag it across, drop it on top, drag the two files down, highlight both, drag it across, drop it on top. Now they're all stacked over here in the layers. If we highlight all layers and go to edit, Auto align layers is perfect. Okay. Image auto align layers, just on full auto is fine. What it does, it reads the pixels from each three frames and uh, aligns any pixels that happen to be the same. The only problem we may have is the guests may have moved, so there might be a a small movement in, in that part. Okay. So, because the uh, exposures are different on the frames, you have to blend that as well. So simply edit, blend layers this time, as long as they're all highlighted, which they are. Okay. Alright, that's taken away uh, a little problem with the blends, now it's just a matter of cropping in. So obviously it's not the standard frame, we might make it 12.5, uh, see how we go with that. Not quite wide enough. 14 by 5, unusual size, but if it works. <coughs> there you have it, stitched together. Nicely done. Not many of the guests have moved much. It's uh, caught them well.